If you're after a small convertible rugged Chromebook that comes with a garage USI pen, then this Lenovo 300e Gen 3 Chromebook from 2021 still looks like a decent buy to me now in 2023. Having used it for a few months in this full review, I'll take you through everything you need to know to consider this against any other Chromebook you're shortlisting to purchase. As it's an e-model from Lenovo, that means it's part of the education-focused lineup of Chromebooks they offer, hence the tough and build to survive the classroom. If you're at school and already have this Chromebook, or if your kids have it, it'll be great to hear from you in the comments to see if you agree or disagree with anything I cover. All models use the AMD 3015 CE processor, have 4GB of RAM and run 64-bit Chrome OS. This particular model has 32GB of storage, but there are others with up to 64GB. Updates to Chrome OS are going to run through to the AUE date of June 2029, so still a decent amount of life left in it at time of filming. There's a small number of variations on this model that don't come with the stylus included. Check the link in the video description to identify if you might be looking at one of those options. If you watch my YouTube shorts, TikToks, or follow on Instagram, Instagram or Snapchat, you may have seen my original unboxing and initial impressions video. I'll link to that in the description. Listed as a grade B refurb, I paid just £110, that's about $138. US It's like new and it had just one battery cycle, so definitely a bargain. It weighs in at about 1.31 kg, which is about £2.89, so not the lightest, but it certainly feels well put together. It's an all-plastic ABS build with rubber bumpers to give it strength to survive a knock or a fall. You can see the rubber bumpers have a slight speckled finish to them. I do find Lenovo's ABS plastic builds generally feel a lot tougher than other manufacturers' plastic Chromebooks, so I'd have no concerns over this taking a bit of abuse. It's got a rough textured feel to it, which is fine, but I don't particularly think that aids the grip in any way. Port-wise, it's not bad. On the left-hand side, you've got a USB-C 3.2 port for power, data, and display out, a full-size USB-A 3.2 port, and a headset jack, micro SD card slot, and of course, the garage rechargeable USI stylus. Over on the right hand side you've got the power button with a built in LED, a volume rocker, a second full size USB A port and an HDMI connection, that's version 1.4b, and then finally a Kensington Nano security slot. It may have been nice to see dual USB-C, but then the HDMI port is a welcome trade-off for some. A lot of this, as usual, is down to your personal preference. The keyboard deck and trackpad feel very well put together. The keys have a medium travel to them, and whilst I wouldn't want to type on it for hours on end, it's certainly not bad. The trackpad feels responsive both on clicks and taps, and there's no sign of any looseness, as you can occasionally find on some Chromebooks. Most 300Es are going to come with two cameras. At the top of the keyboard deck, you'll find the world-facing camera if you have it. It is an option, so do double-check. The idea is when you're in tablet mode with the screen fully back, the world-facing camera is then on the back, much like the main camera on the back of your phone. It's a 5-megapixel camera, it performs adequately, and it lets you record in 1080p. The main webcam is at the top of the screen and features a manual privacy slider. This camera is 0.3 megapixels, can record videos at 720p. It's a pretty standard setup that does the job. Opening up the 300e third gen further, it is fully convertible as mentioned so you can use it in all the different form factors such as tent mode or with the speakers that are positioned on the bottom of the machine firing up or of course in tablet mode. The rechargeable USI stylus pen is great, I found it worked really well with different modes on the screen and having it garaged in the Chromebook is of course highly convenient and lets it recharge. The 11.6 inch IPS HD screen has a claimed brightness of 250 nits and seems bright enough for indoor use. I think it's the same screen from the 6th gen Lenovo Flex 3 I I reviewed. As usual, you might have to accept the bezels, but they're not necessarily a bad thing, especially when you think about the small hands that might be handling this in tablet mode. There are two 2 watt speakers on the bottom of the Chromebook, and as you may expect, they're not the best in terms of quality, but feel loud enough. Here's an outro from one of my other videos that I'll link in the video description. Otherwise, on the bottom of the 300e third gen, I think it's just a drain hole for the keyboard in case of any accidental spills. And with these nine screws, you can tell it's been designed to be easily taken apart should you need to get into it. Performance with the AMD 3015 CE processor is decent, as you will have seen in the review I did of the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 14 inch, also known as the 14e Gen 2, which features that same processor. 
You won't struggle with this Chromebook for most normal tasks, it's perfectly snappy, and as you can see here it's absolutely fine with some light gaming like Roblox as well. Benchmark tests do suggest something like the Celeron N4500 might be a better option, but comparing it in general to other Chromebooks with that processor, like the Lenovo Flex 3i 6th Gen for example, most day-to-day -day tasks may not result in a great real-world difference that I could see. Battery life is also good as you'd hope. My usual test of getting into a second day of average use without feeling the need to recharge was definitely passed. Lenovo quote 10.8 hours on the Google Power Low test. The pen is also rechargeable, but I never found that it would actually run out. It has a claimed 40 minutes of active use, but the recharge time is so small, claiming 60 seconds to get to 95% and 4 minutes to 100%, that I can't imagine that becoming a massive issue for anyone, even for extended periods. Just pop it back in the machine and get a drink, and by the time you're back, it'll be recharged. One nice bonus was that this model of the 300E, like most, came with a 65 watt charger rather than the standard 45 watt. Pretty handy to have to use with. With other laptops or devices that can benefit from that extra power and it also helps this 300e third gen recharge quicker. I found the claim of charging up to 80% of the battery in one hour to be pretty accurate. You may have seen from one of my recent shorts or TikToks that my 300e third gen worked really well with my pluggable dock, happily driving my two full HD HP monitors and all my other peripherals. I'll link to it in the video description. If you want to check out other small 11.6 inch Chromebooks that come with a stylus and a fully convertible, then check out this next video where I compare two of them. And don't forget a like for this one if it's been useful, it's really appreciated. Cheers.